Hey, hey, this is Timur Sol, and today we will talk about mists and fogs. Now, there are a couple of ways you can make your own fog. Um, the only basic way uh, that I knew for some time was just using the fog asset that you probably have. Now, the fog asset will be found in your animations. Um, if you don't have a fog asset, don't, uh, don't fret. Uh, we will build that ourselves in a minute. But uh, if you would rather use the ready asset and just achieve this effect over here, nothing as, uh, as simple as this. You just take your fog asset and stretch it out to make it, uh, to make it fit the screen. Now, as this is an animation, you can also uh, fiddle with the animation so you can change the frame rate make it triggered or looped uh, you can set the direct frame and just make it stay on that frame uh, the normal 30 animation uh, frame rate that's usually something that is a little bit too much for me uh, i like to keep my animations around 15 20 uh, something like that so this is the simplest way in which you could do your uh, your foggy animation but there are different ways also what you can also do is um, if you don't want an effect to look exactly like this over here but you'd rather have it uh, more like this you could use the same animation but use it as a tiled pre preset so if you just drag it as a tile you'll notice that it looks rather horrible right now um, you will need to go into your texture and texture scale make it something around 2 and now this is the same thing as here so uh, both the animation and the tile uh, are made from the same fog, uh, fog preset or fog, fog, um, fog asset uh, so what's the difference where is the difference well one thing uh, this one was on the terrain layer and this one was not but still you can clearly see that this is um, fairly different than this one this comes from the uh, scale that you can uh, set in your tiled presets so you could even go to 0.1 well you won't see anything then but you could go to 0.5 and you change how much you zoom in or zoom out from from that uh, from that asset you can go to 10 or you can go to 100 well it doesn't make any sense but you could do that uh, what you want to have is something around 1.5 or something like that and the mist is let's say thick but not um, but not obstru obst uh, obstrusive or obstructive but it's not pre preventing you from seeing what's underneath uh, underneath uh, the fog. Now, these are the two ways that you could do that. You could also additionally, uh, since this is a tile, you could also additionally add a tile noise to it and change the noise scale to uh, say one or two. Um, this also could have an interesting effect since you will have permanently blind spots, permanent blind spots in your fog, which is also uh, also interesting. Now, there's a third way to do your fog. It's not as spectacular as the animated fog asset, but you could also use it if you don't have the fog asset at hand. You will need, however, any mm, let's call it um, asset that has some uh, structure in it or something that could be slightly uh, slightly bumped uh, visually so let's take the tile uh, over here i have tile 13 uh, so this one to make it a little bit different i'll take tile 39 let's say set it up as a tiled uh, tiled asset change the um change the texture scale as usual something like this um, i will also make it go to the object layer you go to the object layer yes this is an object layer right now 
and um, lastly well not lastly actually I am going into my um, my tile scroll let's make it scroll and X uh, axis without the Y axis so I'm making it a zero and uh, now almost lastly um, I am going to add some noise to it and change the visibility to something around 60. Now additionally what I could do and uh, what I will do over here is I'm going to change my saturation to lower. Higher saturation means more color, less saturation means, um, means less color so it's black and white. Since this uh, asset is blue or bluish if you bump the saturation you have a blue fog-like um, structure above your terrain. If you go down, you could have uh, have it totally white. Now, I'm going to leave it here. And you can also adjust the brightness. If you go a lot of way up, you'll stop noticing the movement. Why is that? Because uh, the tile noise uh, makes it so that there are blind spots all around this. So you have to be really careful to go with it to a spot where it's still visible but not not that much you go again up with the saturation and down with the brightness or up with the brightness it's again going to be visible that there's something above their heads um, since the saturation is high enough it's an interesting effect you could have poisonous particles for example uh, let's if we would change it to some more greenish hue bump the saturation and uh, something like this and go down with the brightness you could have a poisonous green cloud and in, in the air uh, so yeah this, these are the three ways with which you can do a simple fog for your uh, for your games